Introducing NutriSmart, a rapid food intolerance test brought to you by Ipsa. This easy-to-use kit tests for the most common 57 foods in 30 minutes without having to wait for weeks to receive your results. The NutriSmart Rapid Test Kit comes with all the equipment and reagents you'll need to perform a test. You only need to provide gloves and a timer. It is important to note that the kit can only be used once to determine what food intolerances exist for one individual. The food intolerance test can only be used on children 5 years and older. Start by opening the box. Take out the reagents holder. You'll need to set up the holder by first removing the top piece. Take the foot piece and fold the inner flaps down. Now slide the reagents into the open slot. Place the reagents on the table with the time schedule in view. For convenience, unpack the contents in the order that you'll be using them. Start with the alcohol swab, then the lancet, the cotton swab, the pipette, the plaster and lastly the syringe. Before the test can be processed, it must be at room temperature. After unpacking the contents, wait 30 minutes before starting the test. Once you've unpacked all the reagents from the kit, open the red cap bottle that contains the sample diluter. By using the sample capillary tube, the patient's blood will later be added and mixed with the sample diluter. Start by cleaning the patient's finger with the alcohol swab provided in the kit. Remove the Lancet's protective cap. Choose the patient's non-dominant hand and carefully place the tip of the Lancet against the top and towards the side of the patient's ring finger. Now press down on the Lancet's cap until you hear a clicking sound. The clicking sound means the patient's skin has been pricked and a blood sample can now be taken. Wipe the initial blood from the patient's finger with the cotton swab provided in the kit. If necessary, lightly squeeze the patient's finger until a droplet of blood appears. Now use the sample capillary tube to capture the blood droplet until it reaches the white stopper. You can now empty the sample capillary tube into the dilution buffer and replace the cap. Now gently mix the blood sample and the dilution buffer together. Cover the patient's finger with the plaster provided. Once added to the diluter, the sample can be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for up to 72 hours. Use a pen and write the patient's name and surname on the NutriSmart cassette. Remove the sticker but keep it close by as it will be needed again later. Set the countdown timer to 8 minutes. Make sure the sample diluter bottle is held upright. By using the syringe, pipette the entire volume of the blood sample mix from the sample diluter. For better stability and control, grip the syringe by the shaft and connect your hands in order to better manipulate the content in the syringe. Always ensure that all the air bubbles are removed from the syringe before injecting the mixture into the cassette. Once all the air bubbles have been removed, place the syringe securely into the fluid port of the cassette and inject the solution. Remove the syringe from the cassette and start the countdown timer. The test process has now started. From now on, the cassette must not be picked up but be kept flat on a level surface until the end of the test. It is very important to keep to the time schedule as shown on the side of the reagent holder. While the countdown timer is running, select the first blue capped bottle containing the wash solution. Pipette the entire volume of the wash solution into the same syringe. Ensure that all bubbles are removed and place a syringe next to the test cassette. Now wait for the countdown timer to reach zero. Stop the timer and reset to 8 minutes. Inject the wash buffer into the cassette. 
Remove the syringe. Pipette the entire volume of the first antibody solution from the grey cap bottle into the syringe. Again, make sure to remove all the bubbles from the syringe and inject it into the cassette. Start the countdown timer. While the countdown timer is running, prepare the second wash solution that is found in the next blue cap bottle. Again, make sure to remove all the bubbles from the syringe. Place the syringe next to the test cassette. Wait for the countdown timer to reach zero. Stop the timer and reset to 8 minutes. Now inject the wash solution into the cassette. Remove the syringe. Pipette the entire volume of the second antibody solution in the yellow cap bottle into the syringe. Make sure to remove all the bubbles from the syringe and inject the solution into the cassette. Start the countdown timer. While the countdown timer is running, prepare the third wash solution by pipetting the entire volume of the solution into the syringe. Make sure to remove all the bubbles from the syringe. Place the syringe next to the test cassette. Wait for the countdown timer to reach zero, then stop the timer. Inject the wash solution into the cassette. Remove the syringe. Remove the white cap from the brown bottle and pipette the entire volume of the first color reagent into the syringe. Make sure all the bubbles are removed from the syringe and inject the first reagent into the cassette. Set the countdown timer to 5 minutes, start the timer and immediately prepare the second color reagent. Remove the white cap from the second brown bottle and pipette the entire volume of the first color reagent into the syringe. Make sure all the bubbles are removed from the syringe and inject the second reagent into the cassette within 30 seconds of injecting the first color reagent. While the countdown timer is running, prepare the stop solution. Remove the green cap and pipette the entire volume of the stop buffer into the syringe. Make sure all the bubbles are removed from the syringe and wait for the countdown timer to reach zero. Inject the stop buffer into the cassette. Remove the syringe from the cassette and place the sticker over the fluid port again as the testing is now complete. Use the NutriSmart evaluation sheet to determine the patient's results. The numbers on the evaluation sheet corresponds to the numbers on the cassette. Both the sheet and cassette each have 40 numbers. Each number represents a specific food or food group. Number 1 on the sheet represents wheat. Number 2 represents rye. Number 6 represents corn and rice. So on and so forth until we reach number 40. Each window on the cassette contains three vertical lines. A standard or control line on the left of the window and two test lines on the right of the window. The color of each test line should be compared to the standard or control line. If the test line is less intense than the standard or control line, the score will be 1. If the test line intensity is equal to the standard or control line, the score will be 2. If the test line intensity is darker than the standard or control line, the score will be 3. Let's interpret the results. Scoring a 1 indicates a weak or no reaction. Scoring a 2 indicates a moderate reaction. Scoring a 3 indicates a strong reaction. Only take note and work with the results scoring 2 and 3, or moderate to strong reactions. Results should always be linked to the patient's symptoms in order to make a diagnosis. Let's look at the reaction scores. Many 2 and 3 scores of IgG4 reactions. If multiple foods have strong elevations of IgG4, it might be an indication of an intestinal permeability problem. Moderate 2 and or 3 scores of IgG4 reactions. IgG4 elevations to less than half of the foods routinely consumed might indicate a less severe intestinal permeability problem. 
only a few strong IgG4 reactions. If there are only a few strong reactions to foods, a decision to eliminate or rotate foods should be made by the healthcare practitioner. No IgG4 reactions, but patient presents symptoms close to a food intolerance. The absence of reactions in this test may be due to several other possibilities that the healthcare practitioner needs to investigate. Once the sheet has been completed, you can formulate a report by first registering and then logging onto the NutriSmart website. Load the patient's test results into the form provided, which can be printed out if necessary. The report will provide information on food intolerances, the patient's results and a guideline rotation diet. The healthcare professional can now make an informative decision as to what treatment and advice the patient needs. Be sure to always read the package insert to familiarize yourself with all the aspects of the NutriSmart test. And there you have it, a food intolerance test done in under an hour. Be sure to contact your nearest IPSA branch for more information on how to order your own NutriSmart kits.